Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to go over the new system mages have in Season of Discovery called Scrolls. I'm sure you've seen these items at some point during your leveling. In the background, you'll see me opening 125 of them, which I'll explain why I'm doing this later. At level 2, mages learn to identify these via a quest. These new scrolls are a fun item that mages open with a reagent called Comprehension Charm. Keep these in mind for later. When I first interacted with this system, I was instantly in love with it. It really fit well with the class fantasy of mages. Once identified, you were rewarded with scrolls, ranging from your normal spirit scrolls, new scrolls mages use for resurrection, and brand new powerful buffs. These special green scrolls are unique only to mages and not tradable. There are two types of scrolls, defensive and offensive. The defensive scrolls are Arcane Protection Frost and Arcane Protection Fire, which provide 20 resistance of the respective buffs, as well as Arcane Recovery, which provides mana per 5. The offensive scrolls are Scroll of Arcane Accuracy, which provides 1% hit, and Scroll of Arcane Power, which provides 1% crit. As an Arcane Mage, I am currently only after these two runes for rating, Arcane Recovery and Arcane Power. Each buff lasts 30 minutes and you lose the buff when you die. You can have one offensive and one defensive on at a time. You only get these green scrolls from identifying the tier 2 scrolls. The tier 2 scrolls are Wubba Wubba, Omit Kessa, Voss Well, and Thenic Lunate. I play on Chaos Bolt, which is the smallest season of Discovery Realm. It took me a few days to buy these 125 scrolls ranging anywhere from 5 to 25 silver per. On other realms, I see these are way cheaper and there are way more, so you should be able to do it cheaper. For the 125 scrolls, I spent roughly 10 gold. However, there is another cost on top of this. To identify each scroll, you have to buy one of the Comprehension Charms. You get a 10% discount with Honored, as well as with Rank 3. But if you have neither of those, it is 7 silver per. I had to buy 125 of them, which brought the cost of this up to 18.75 gold for all of these. Just to be as specific as possible for people, I opened 36 Omit Kessa, 42 Wubba Wubba, 17 Voss Wells, and 30 Fennec Lunates. Here are my results. 55 Res Scrolls, 12 Protection Scrolls Rank 2, 7 Spirit Scrolls Rank 2, 16 Frost Resistance Scrolls, 19 Fire Resistance Scrolls, and 10 Spell Hit Scrolls, all of which I do not need for the current content. The scrolls I was specifically after were the NP5 scroll, which I got 4 of, and the 1% spell crit scroll, which I got 2 of. So of the 125 scrolls I opened, I got 6 of the ones I wanted. This is a grand total of 2 hours of buff time with the MP5 buff, and 1 hour total of crit. This is possibly only an issue on Chaos Bolt, but as you can see the auction house is now completely dead of these scrolls. If I wanted to buy more, I couldn't. Not without spending an absurd amount. If other realms are having this issue, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that is the reason I am making this video. As someone who is a sweat lord, these buffs are a little frustrating to get. You have to open the scrolls one by one, and the green scrolls are BOP, so you can't even trade them to other mages. Even if my server had plenty more scrolls on the auction house, I don't really want to open another 125 of these for potentially 6 more buffs. Now you can sell the res scrolls and try and make some of your money back, which I am currently trying to do. I have them listed for 16 gold right now, but none of them have sold, and it's been hours since then. I would like to see some changes to this system going into Phase 2. Maybe having some form of item exchange or being able to trade these in for currency to buy the scrolls we want. It is really discouraging, though, to open 125 of these and get 6 of the ones I need. But yeah, that's it. It's a fun system. I actually really like it overall. I think Blizzard is killing it for Season of Discovery. I, I'm having so much fun. If you are a mage and agree, though, please share and like the video. If it's your first time watching, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Take care.